Welcome to Wednesday Web Chat. This is Carl Lewis from Vision 33 here as your host today. And today's topic is going to be a brief, very brief introduction of pervasive analytics. Uh, we'll skip out of that and go over to our demo system. Here we are. And uh, what I'm going to do, because I hadn't exited, I want to show you exactly how to get in. So here's my HANA screen, and I'm using the Fiori interface. Remember, there are three different ones to choose from. Uh, I'm going to use the Fiori interface. and um, when I do that, I mean, as you know, I can always have the menu visible, but I have a tendency when I'm you know, running on HANA not to have that menu up. Instead, I go to the modules, which is the menu, right? And under the tools menu, typically up here at the top, I can find my pervasive analytics. So that's how I get into the pervasive analytics, you know, center where I can start creating my own and doing things like that. So what are pervasive analytics? Well, there's three different elements really in pervasive analytics. Uh, we have KPIs, dashboards, and advanced dashboards. And we'll take a look at a couple of examples. In this center, the pervasive analytics designer center, right? the ones that we've created are stored here. So I can always uh, double click on any of these, like the accounts receivable KPI. And there's, I won't call these wizards necessarily, uh, but they're definitely, you know, very helpful in being able to create uh, new KPIs or edit existing ones and save them as a new name and all of those sorts of things. And we're going to go through those things in more detail over the coming weeks, how to use each one of these KPIs, dashboards, and advanced dashboards. Today, we're just going to take a, a kind of a quick sneak peek at where these things are, right? And this little house button over here will take you back home. And I can do the same with... Uh, any of the dashboards and kind of see how they're put together and it kind of gives me a preview of what they look like. So again, we're going to be coming back to creating one of these ourselves in the upcoming weeks. And even the advanced dashboards, I can take a look at one of them quickly and, and bring it on the screen. Now, as you can see, an advanced dashboard can have multiple tabs and it can have multiple dashboards and KPIs on one of those tabs. So it's a little more, it's a collection of things that I can create. And so I'm going to be sure that you have the basics of being able to create them on your own as we go through each one of these kind of 